Hey guys, welcome to Subsistence. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get clean drinkable water. So I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm going to give you guys some other water tips as well to help you out proceed better in this game. So it's going to be a very short and informative video, but let's get started. So one thing you always want to do is get clean water to drink. Do not drink dirty waters. To give you guys an example, we are going to compare it pretty quick. We're going to quickly go out of here. We're going to go into this, what, can, what do we call this? A river to a dam, <laughs> this stream, and we are going to go and pick up some dirty water. Let's just quickly get back inside. There we go, and close both. So here you can see, we have got dirty water, and we have got clean water. Whenever you do drink dirty water, your person is going to get sick. When he gets sick, your stamina and your health will actually be like halfway, which means you can't run as far, you can't take as much damage. It's more difficult to kill bigger and wild animals such as maybe boars, moose, bears, wolves, and whatsoever there is. And if you do get sick because of the water, uh, the dirty water, you're gonna make yourself a basic antidote, which consists of a liver, five kelp, and three of those medicinal tonics. To give you an idea, that means you're gonna get fish oil, which means you're gonna catch about six fishes because we need three of those babies over here so it's actually very difficult also the liver you're gonna get from animals so in my point of perspective always drink clean water so overclock how does one do that let me show you so we're gonna quickly go ahead drink all of this water fill it back up sorry I'm just using some quick keys so you can actually just scroll on it and press E to fill it up and then we're gonna go to our wood burner. I think it also works in the campfire. You are just gonna take it over here and now you are gonna boil it and it's gonna be clean. So when it is winter time, everything is covered with snow. Do you know what you do then to get water? You actually use your canteen, go over a snowy surface, if it's on the rocks or on the grass, wherever it's snowy, you can actually go and pick up the snow and come and boil the snow and you'll also get some drinkable water. So to spice things up a little bit as well, you can use water for your plant beds as well. So do you use clean water or dirty water? So let me tell you, you can use any one of the two, which is actually fantastic. So you don't have to boil water each time to be able to feed your crops. So let's quickly go over here. As you guys can remember, it was brown. And there we go. It is blue. Let's get back up here to my main headquarters. So there we go. Clean clean and clean now we can go ahead and drink it all up so there we go guys i hope that this video helped you out if you have got any questions let me know in the comments below also i'm trying to reach a goal of 10,000 subs before the end of the year i mean i'll show some nipples <laughs> no, i'm joking <laughs> let's put that back on rated pg everyone so if you guys would love to support the channel make sure to drop a big like and subscribe as i mentioned i'm trying to reach a goal of 10,000 subs before the end of the year which is 2021 almost say 2020 the time flies so darn quick thank you so much for watching hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe if you want to see a similar video hit the icon on the left if you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right, and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out.